Gio just came in my room and wanted to lay on my bed. He was like scratching to get up here. What's going on, boy? He's been so calm these past few days. It's funny because he usually runs to Sabrina all the time, but I guess he's used to seeing Sabrina and I'm not used to seeing me as much, so he's been coming to me a lot lately. Gio, what are you chewing on? What's that, boy? Oh, you're chewing on this pop thing, right? Hey, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? So before we start off today's vlog, I just want to let you guys know that there's only six days left that you were able to get one of those grandmom shirts. It has grandmom saying motherfucker on it. If you guys don't know what the shirt looks like, you can view it right here. But once again, the shirt is only available for six more days, so if you want a shirt, click the link down below in the top of the description, and let's get started with today's vlog. Every time I pass by these stairs, Gio looks up at me, wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> And now he'll run towards me. There he goes. He wants to grab his toy first. Look at him. This dog is so cute. <laughs> luggage, boy. Luggage? Oh, yeah. I gotta get the luggage back from Lizzie. No, you gotta get it back in your room, too. Oh, well, that, too. What's going on today, Ground? You going swimming? I think so. Hey, there it's you go. Right Grandma wanted to go yesterday, but it was too humid for her. And then I have to go to the doctor's and all that. Yeah. Can you take Gigi out for Oh, he's going to try and grab your dress. That's what he does to Sabrina. Now he needs to go out. He hasn't been out. Come on, Gio. Let's go, let's go potty. If you guys remember, yesterday, Grandma was saying it was super humid outside. Yeah, well, today's even more humid. It's bad. But I'm going to head out right now and go pick up Lizzie. I'm, like, squinting right now because the sun is so strong. My eyes aren't adjusted to it yet. <laughs> this mail truck just ran into the tree, and the fucking branches went everywhere. Yo! Why you gotta shove the camera in my face? Yo. I don't get to do my makeup yet. No foundation though. <laughs> Ironic enough, you know how foundation is supposed to cover acne? Well, when Lizzie did the 100 layers challenge, it actually gave her a pimple, but I think it's gone now, right? Yep. But that's just ironic as fuck because that shit's supposed to cover it, but it ended up giving her it. No, not in all cases. That's why people are like, if you have a severe case of acne, don't wear cover up because that makes it worse. Uh, uh, oh, well. Right now, I need to try and get something to eat. I haven't eaten at all today. I'll probably just pick something up and then me and you will probably end up going to the post office. She said she didn't do her makeup. You did do makeup. You did mascara. No, I put eyeliner on. Just Dude, I don't know bit. the fucking difference. Okay, eyeliner. Eyeliner or mascara. I always get those two things confused, but you look fine. You don't need to do anything else. Yes, I do. What do you need to do? My mascara. I need eyelashes. Okay, that yeah, that's it. <laughs> mascara and eyeliner. That's the only thing. I didn't bring any foundation, so. Here's the thing. Too much makeup is overboard. But like mascara and eyeliner, that's that's I'm chill with that. <laughs> you love that. Yeah, because it just makes her eyes pop, but you don't need all that shitty foundation. I don't know, I say this too much. Some of you guys hate me when I say, oh, I'll let her wear the makeup that she wants. She can wear whatever she wants. But my personal opinion, I don't like when she wears foundation. Just like everybody else in the world has an opinion, I'm allowed to have an opinion. Now, do me a favor. Okay. Get inside the oven real quick. How the fuck am I going to fit in that oven? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's from a movie. I'm not. It's from a movie. I don't think you saw it, but like the, the lady tells the girl to get inside the oven when she's cleaning it. It's funny. Oh my God, I got a better chance of becoming a virgin. Uh, becoming a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> so grandmom's the one who has the dick lighter. <laughs> she wanted me to run upstairs really quick and grab it for her. She said it's on her nightstand. Let's see where it is. Where is it? I don't even see it. Grandma! Ah, found it. Yo, you know what's the funniest shit about this thing too? It actually vibrates. This lighter is actually pretty cool though. I like how it's basically like a torch. What'd you say, Grandma? It's nothing like having a cigarette with it. No, that's not what you said. There's nothing like having a good smoke without a good dick. <laughs> oh, well, you know me. I always come up with something to say. She was referring to the dick later, guys, by the way. <laughs> so I came home to try and get my mom's car so we can go to the post office with it. Because you guys know that I have, like, no room in my car. It's hard to put all the packages in here. But both my parents took both of their cars and my sister isn't home so we can't use any of those cars so we're gonna take my car right now and hopefully there's not too much mail where it's like overflowing my car just left the post office we actually didn't get too much mail today it was actually just enough to fill up the front of my car so that's good we didn't have an overflow where lizzie was like cramped in the car with Mom, like holding like boxes this, and shit not being able to see out of the front of the car yeah <laughs> grandma experienced that a couple times too <laughs> but right now since i haven't eaten anything yet today there's actually a Wawa on the way going back to my house, so I'm gonna hit the Wawa 
and try and get something to eat. And I love Wawa, man. I'm like, I'm so hyped right now because I've missed it. I've been in Cali the whole time and they don't have it out there. And if you guys don't know what Wawa is, it's pretty much like a Heritage's or like another like little convenience store. But they have everything. They have like meatball sandwiches, smoothies, paninis, quesadillas, so many good things. And it's all like their own branded stuff. And it, I don't know, I just personally like really enjoy it. That straight up sounded like an ad for Wawa, but I swear to you guys that's not. I just really enjoy their food. Mm, what do I want? Probably gonna get like a meatball sandwich. Wait, go back on this is a little Go back to what? They got like oh, barbecue really beef and cheddar. That sounds pretty good. And we looked it up and mm. that looks really good. Buffalo like, chicken like cheesesteak. I just ended up getting a meatball sub and I also got a warm chocolate chip cookie. I need to start eating healthy. I think I'm gonna start pretty soon. You know, I, I hate doing this because I tell you guys one thing and like, all right, I go on a diet for like a week and then the next week I'm like not on a diet anymore. So I think I'm just gonna do it for myself and if I do it, then I'm gonna do it. But I'm not gonna tell you guys. I'm not gonna sit here and complain and be like, okay guys, I'm on a diet now and then the next week I'm not. So if I do it, then I'm not even gonna say anything to you guys. Oh my God. This has to be amazing. I'm definitely getting this. <laughs> Reese's Big Cup, but it's crunchy. It's actually got peanuts in it. I love crunchy peanut butter so much. She's laughing at me, but I, I used to love crunchy peanut butter so much. You just told them you're gonna go on a diet, and you're like, I gotta get this. Okay, okay, starting after today. But once again, I, I said that I'm not gonna tell them, so, so I'll start whenever I want. Every single time I see a croissant, it makes me think of that one vine. Do you remember that, Lizzie? Yeah. Y'all must made me drop my croissant. <laughs> All right, guys. So I just walked out of Wawa and got my food, but we ran into some fans. What's going on, guys? Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to be in the video real quick. They said they noticed my car. They were waiting for me. That's pretty funny. You already know. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. All right, All right, going? All right, let's get back home so I can try these delicious foods. Try them. You already know what they taste. Like. I know, but I, I never tried that Reese's thing before, and I'm so hyped oh, you about did that. Get it? Yeah. This is the mail that we got today. We just got home. I'm about to eat, and then we'll start opening this stuff up. Gio just sits there and watches me eat. <laughs> Look, his tail's wagging. He wants something. Just finished my cookie. I gave Lizzie part of it. I gave her part of my sandwich as well. I'm so full. I can't even eat that Reese's right now. I'm gonna have to try it later on today. Somebody sent us a picture, and it literally looks exactly like my sister. I remember the other day, somebody commented on my vlog saying that there's a porn star, I guess, that looks like my sister that has fake boobs. I don't know if this is the girl that they were talking about, but it's like her identical twin. It's so weird. Like, this honestly does look like my sister, besides like the drawn on eyebrows and everything, but that's pretty crazy how similar it is. It's so weird. We got Gio and Lizzie watching over there. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. This package is from Efrain Rodriguez. Whoa, there's a bunch of candy. <laughs> Thank you so much for this candy. We got some like Mexican candy, some uh, Duvalins. I've had these before, they're pretty good. Takis. Thank you so much, man. Oh, we got some shot gum. I have so many of these, I don't know what to do with them all. This package is from Evan Selby. Thank you so much, Evan. This package is from Levi Anderson. Sounds like there's, yeah, Legos or something in here. Oh my gosh. It's all toy cars. Oh, Holy crap. That is amazing. Somebody said they were sending 50 cars. That's insane. Well, they did. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, we got another pie face game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is from Manuel Miro. Thank you so much, Manuel. So I really want to try out the smoke grenade, and it's shaped like an actual grenade, which is pretty cool. But I don't know if I want to do it in my backyard or not, because the last time I did it, our neighbors complained. It's the only thing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Contemplating if I want to do it or not. Grandma's roasting some marshmallows. <laughs> I'm trying to. On here. <laughs> it's working a little bit. It fell a little fucker. There you go. Now it caught flames. I like when it gets burnt. La -di -da. There you go. Marshmallows are the only food that I'll eat burnt. Okay, so we're gonna do the smoke grenade, but we're gonna do it in the corner over here. We're not gonna do it towards that way. So hopefully if it does blow somewhere, it'll just blow back this way, near the trees and everything. Oh, oh shit, that like hurt my hand. <laughs> Whoa, oh my God. Oh, I don't like the smell. Here, come over here with it. I wanna walk through it. Whoa, it's all just completely like white smoke. You love this stuff. <laughs> Dude, it's so cool. Let's see if we can like change the color of a plant. Look at that. What the heck? It's making, <laughs> that's so funny. Can I carry it? Yeah. <laughs> 
You trying to like draw a name? Yeah, I'm trying to write my name in cursive. See, now it's all blowing this way, so we don't have an issue. Yeah, look at all the smoke up there. It's so warm. Is it? You touched it? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, it's hot. Whoa, look at how that looks. I know, it's because it caught on fire. Here, you want to do it again? <laughs> it's pretty much like a smoke machine. It's so cool. Oh. See, and then it wears out. Ew, it looks so weird. Smell your hand, it's on fire. Ew. It's so cool though, I, I love these things. Now all the wind's taking it that way. Yeah. Look, look there's still some stuff it coming out. like farts. The good thing about that one is that it's white smoke and it pretty much disappears really quickly compared to the colored ones. Like before we did the red smoke and you can see it from like half a mile away. You can still kind of see like a mist of this one over there, but it's not nearly as bad as the colored ones. I have two purple ones. I'm pretty sure that's the colors of it. I want to try and think of something really cool to do with it. If you guys have any ideas what I can do with the smoke grenades, leave a comment down below and let me know. Lizzie just thought of a really cool idea as well. If I tape it to my drone and I pull it and I let my drone go up real high so you can see like the stream going across, that would be really cool. Maybe we can try that out, but I don't think my drone's charged. I have to go upstairs and see. Okay, so the only reason that I'm assuming this is purple is because of these errors right here. Doesn't mean it actually is, but I guess we'll find out. I'm about to tape this to the drone, figure out a way that it's not actually gonna destroy my drone in the process, and then we're gonna launch it. The smoke grenade, I'm gonna make sure it's upside down like this. I don't wanna try and destroy my camera in this process, so I don't think it's the best idea to put it like right in front of it. Maybe if I put it behind it like this and tape it to near the battery. But this is the only tape we have right now. So we're gonna have to use this blue tape. Just trying to figure out what the best way to do this is. Lance is trying his best to make it to where it doesn't fly off when it yeah, shoots up. Yeah, but I also <laughs> wanna make sure that I can still hit the power button when I need to. Yeah. Ugh. Cause the power button's like under there. Yeah. It's gonna be a little lopsided, but. <laughs> so I'm stupid. I didn't realize that it, it's not gonna go anywhere, so let me pull this down a little bit. Ugh. There you go. No, no hit. Now it'll spin. <laughs> so here's another thing I didn't think about, is the weight distribution. There's gonna be a lot more weight on this side of the drone than there is gonna be on the other side. So it might not fly. If anything, we're gonna have to equally weigh down that side. Guys, it pretty much looks like I made a bomb out of my drone. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. But it, it just looks so like cheaply made, but uh, let's try and launch this to see what happens. First, before we even pull the pin for the smoke grenade, we have to make sure that this baby will actually fly. So let's try that out. Sweat, it's so hot out here, I'm sweating so I know, hard. you're sweating like Look a pig. <laughs> Hopefully it just doesn't weigh down and fly that way. Oh, it works, it works. Do you have the camera? Oh yeah, never mind. Oh. Um. Yeah, this is really tricky and scary to pull because I feel like I'm going to chop my hand off. How about you turn it off, pull it, and then hurry up and shoot it up? Yeah. Whoa, hurry up, go, go, go. Oh, that's so cool. Hurry up, hurry up. Shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Is it out already? Seriously? That's it? That's it? Even though this is all the purple smoke. We just did all that for that. Where's the part? Where's the smoke? All right here. It all came out already. Oh, look, look what it did to my drone. <laughs> Damn. Look at all the smoke. I know. <laughs> Well, that did not work as planned. So what ended up happening, I didn't even think this through, but all the pressure that was created from the wind from the propellers pushed all the smoke out faster than it should have came out. Hmm. And now we got a purple spot on the grass. <laughs> I think your wing's purple because you can see that one wing better than any other one. Yep, your propellers are, <laughs> uh. <laughs> his propellers are purple. Well, now I got a painted drone, guys. <laughs> That's so funny, it looks cool though. It does look kind of cool. I'm not even mad to be honest. So I just peeled the tape off, look at it. <laughs> uh. Kind of looks like Barney, green and purple. <laughs> now my drone is purple. And your wings. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna try and clean this off. See, it kind of just like wipes off, so if we just get some water, it should be fine. 
I mean, hmm, some parts are stained and this, that came off. Oh. I mean, it's kind of stained a little bit. You're gonna have to use like something, not just water to get soap. it off. Yeah. Soap will work. If, if water's making it come off, the soap will definitely mm -hmm. bring the rest off. It Except smells this, so bad. This right here isn't coming off. Not all of it's coming off, that's the only thing. All right, so my vlog from yesterday just went up and every single comment just about is saying, why is the vlog so short? The vlog is 14 minutes long. And yes, I understand that's short compared to the vlogs that I've been making recently. All of my vlogs recently have been like over 20 to 30 minute vlogs. So I understand why you guys are upset with it being a short video, but just honestly, nothing really went on yesterday. And it's hard for me to constantly make long videos some days. Like not every day am I gonna have the chance to make a super long vlog for you guys. So I try my absolute best. The video is about 14 minutes long, which is better than nothing. Like I'm sure you guys would have rather watched that than for me to upload nothing at all. It's so funny because you guys are so used to watching the long videos. Like if I would have posted a video two years ago on YouTube that was 10 minutes, that was like 10 minutes long, Nobody would have watched it. Nobody would have watched all the way through. But now I'm uploading videos that are like the length, if not even longer than TV shows. It's pretty crazy. And I really do appreciate it that you guys sit there and watch through that entire video. Pretty much every single day. That means a lot to me. But just please understand, if there is a short vlog for some reason on any given day, there's a reason behind it. And majority of the time, it's probably just because nothing really happened that day. Alright, so we're gonna go into the pool right now, and we also want to try out this giant swan. That a fan got us. This thing is 75 inches. It's huge. So it's probably gonna take a while to blow this thing up. But we do have a pump, so we'll use that. There we go. This thing's gonna take a while. Like halfway done filling it up. This thing's huge. Here we go. It's almost done. You ready? Yes, I am. Look how bad he is sweating. That is so funny. It's so hot out here. Look at my face. Oh my gosh, your face. It looks like you're crying. <laughs> here we go. 75 inches. This thing is huge. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing, man. I'm not going into the water yet. Jump on it. <laughs> no. Dude, that thing's bigger than you. <laughs> ah! We're on. <laughs> I wonder what the weight limit on this thing is. I don't know. I'm sure Cody can fit on it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <So> rude. <laughs> Karma got you, huh? Huh? No, I was already soaked. Oh my god. The weight. <laughs> I was gonna move it, but I decided not to be mean. Dude, I went all the way across the pool. Getting them back scratches. <laughs> <laughs> He's always just like trying to plop his paws on your face. Oh, uh, I went to go play with Geo and he clipped my nose and now I'm bleeding. Where am I bleeding at though? It's like on the in yep. It's like on the inside. You're such a goof. Alright, so. I said this a couple days ago that I wanted to try and have a Nerf War and get my GoPro set up somehow so you guys can see it. So I have this vest on that holds like the magazines and everything, but I'm trying to see if I can set this up some way that we can stick it to here and I can show you guys. I'm thinking like right here maybe? Yeah. Or this side probably. I have this piece that sticks to stuff, but I don't know how well it's going to hold. There we go. Will that work? I feel like when you, it's going to move a lot. Like it's not stable at all. Watch, move your arm and look at it. Yeah. Yeah, man. You're going to have to get a helmet. I should have attached it to the gun. <laughs> you think that'll work better? Maybe. I don't know. Look how friggin' sick this is. Woo. We're going to open this one up. We got these two Nerf guns that me and Lizzie are going to choose from. And uh, I think the best bet with this might be sticking it to the actual gun. Damn, this thing's a friggin' beast. You figure out how to put the other mags on? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm into it. I'm trying to figure out. I got them all on. Look, we got... That's insane. We got four in them now. She's stuffing the bullets in her bra because she don't have a magazine. I don't think this is fair at all. He gets a vest. Yes, yeah, somebody sent it to him, but he gets the vest with extra mags in them for the gun, and I gotta put them in my bra. You want the vest? I'll give you the vest. You're, where are you gonna put the mags? In my pocket. Heck yeah, I want that because I can put the bullets up there. Two, one.
can't work it. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. Reload. Reload. <laughs> oh, I gotta reload this thing. Ow! Oh, he just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these bullets. New ammo. All right, so my dad and Lizzie changed up their weapons. You ready to start? Dad, you're getting them in the pool. Oh, this thing sucks. Headshot. <laughs> I gotta reload. <laughs> oh, she just hit me in the face. <laughs> ah, don't hit me with the gun. <laughs> Dad's done. Look at all these bullets. They're all in the pool everywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed that little Nerf gun war. I'm sweating so bad. My dad just went inside. There's literally bullets everywhere. There's bullets in the pool, bullets in the grass, all in the concrete everywhere. It's even like stuck in some trees and bushes. Did you say? I said we definitely lost some bullets. So yeah, I mean, look at all those bullets in the pool. No, They're all know. over here. I guarantee someone threw the fence. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we have like a thousand bullets that you guys sent. Oh, and I'm sorry if that footage was shaky. I attached a GoPro to my gun, so I know I might have been wobbling a lot, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. My dad just says he has eyebrow damage. Be because I shot him in the eye two times, or the eyebrow with the Nerf bullets. You good? Somebody took a picture of my dad from the vlog saying, I once caught a fish this big. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Frank just got here and he completely missed the friggin' Nerf War, bro. So mad. Oh, we're gonna have to do it again another day. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Dad, what mouse walks on two feet? I don't know. Mickey Mouse, right? <laughs> now, what duck walks on two feet? I'm a duck. No, all ducks, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Lance, I'm trying to work here. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's been a while guys since we had that funnel cake from that place and Me and Lizzie want to go over there right now and get some so you that's, want the funnel cake. I, I mean want ice cream. she wants ice cream. I want funnel cake I want both actually so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do right now. How is it? This thing is huge <laughs> Let's get it. Awesome. So originally I wanted to get a funnel cake But when I got up there, I was just not feeling in the mood for it So I just stuck with an ice cream cone. So I was trying to eat my ice cream and this is what Lizzie does. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> that ending. The funniest thing is, is that you didn't even know I was using a filter. I know, I was like, the hell are you doing? All I saw was the flash. I just completely devoured my cone. It was huge, but Lizzie's still chowing down on her cup. I gotta eat my cup after, too. You're gonna eat the cup? <laughs> no. Yeah, because it's edible. You're gonna die from like some type of plastic disease. I was kidding. All right guys, so I actually haven't vlogged within the past two hours and it's starting to get pretty late right now So I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here So if you guys did enjoy this vlog make sure to smash that thumbs up button I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video Also one question really quick. Are you guys still getting my notifications? Like when I post a new video I post every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time and I know notifications might be delayed sometimes, but I feel like nobody has been getting them recently because I know my family members have my post notifications turned on and they aren't getting them either. So let me know down below if you guys are actually getting them or not. But that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time. What are you doing? Just playing in it? Like a little bath. A little bath? Yeah, why'd you put it in a hole? Yo, look at all that soap. <laughs> Where is it all going?